this fear that Russians are coming. There was a so-called uh, leaked German report that made the news here that showed nine steps to World War III. And, and it, all these big arrows flown around and hundreds of thousands of troops doing all this kind of stuff. Looks really scary. All that red on there. What do you make of this, Doug? It's Fantasy Island. This is the sort of thing that people in Washington love, and it's being disseminated to their vassal states in Europe. The Russians, first of all, don't have the forces for such an offensive, nor do they want them. I mean, there are limits to what the Russians want to spend and invest in defense. I wish we had limits, but they do. Putin wants to do business with Western Europe, not go to war with it. Again, this is part of the fiction that uh, the Germans and everyone else has to stay in a permanent state of hostility to Russia, which is what we want. I'm surprised they didn't include some Chinese component. And of course, the, the laughable statement is about, oh, well, they're using North Korean missiles. Well, the Russians don't need North Korean missiles. North Koreans were anxious to sell those. The Russians <laughs> took them. But they're Russian knockoffs. The North Koreans didn't develop these from scratch. They're just a version of what the Russians have already got. This, this is all nonsense. But the Europeans need to wake up, and I think they are, gradually. You've seen the unrest in, in Germany, uh, right. which is very unusual for Germans, and also in the Netherlands. I think you'll see more of it, and ultimately, I think you'll see some in Poland. Uh, I don't know what the Swedes will do, but thus far, they've been very fine sheep, and they're marching wherever they're told to go. But I have friends in Sweden and Finland, and they're looking at what's happening up along the Arctic Circle, seeing Americans arrive with equipment and technology. They're beginning to figure out, well, wait a minute, why are they here? Again, everything we are doing is designed to provoke Russia. We want to provoke them. The good news for us is that the Russians have said no thank you and have exercised incredible restraint. I think they will continue to do so.